Welcome to Awaken Together with Christina. Welcome to Awaken Together with Christina. This channel is all about raising your consciousness and how to work with energy. Today I want to talk about that in-between phase, that in-between stage when you are still doing that thing that you've been doing for a while, but you have this calling, this desire that's pulling you to that, that next excitement, that next thing that excites you. That in-between phase is a little scary <laughs> because when you start reaching for that next level and you're ready to level up to that next thing, these old programs, these, these self-doubt fears, um, these, these worries are going to pop up. And when these self-doubt and worry fears pop up, these are the things that still need to be worked through so that we can release them, take those weights off, so that we can raise our frequency up to that next level frequency that will allow us to be on a frequency level equal to that thing that's calling us, that, that thing that we want to manifest in our lives. So these worries, these, these doubts that, that come up, they're a gift to guide us to the things that still need to be worked through emotionally and energetically um, to get us to a frequency level so that we can manifest it in our lives. So as they come up, dig into them at, you know, why am I feeling this way? And, um, well, why is that? And where did this stem from? And then once you get to that root issue of that, that moment, that, that key event that created this belief, created these, these thoughts, um, then it's freeing. It frees you and it allows you to go up to that next level energetically so that you can manifest things into the physical on that next level. Um, so it's normal to be, um, it's normal for these worries and self-doubts to come up. So don't let it stop you. Don't let it freeze you. Don't let it get you stuck. Don't let it cause procrastination because of the fear that you're feeling. Dig into the whys and the self-doubts until you get to that root and then you will be free. So our job as we're stepping into this, this new next level excitement thing that's calling us, our job is to, to uh, keep the faith, to, to know that this, ex this experience wants to be lived out through us. It's calling us. It's working with us. It's our partners in, in this creation. And just taking those, those steps, those, um, those guided steps into it with faith, with excitement, um, not having, um, oh, not not insisting on a certain outcome, just allowing it to unfold as it unfolds and loving it, right? Um, because even if lessons pop up, it's still a guidance for us. So following it in faith and excitement, taking those steps as far as you can take it um, in faith, knowing that you have a partnership with the universe, with God, um, to bring this into the physical. And then you, when you do that and you just stay focused on that and release those self doubts and, and fears and keep taking those steps to the best of your ability. And then you just leave the hows and all that other stuff to, to the universe to God and it's going to pick it up. It's going to take it and it's going to take you to that thing that is guiding you to. And a lot of, it, a lot of times it's even further and more 
than what we ever expected. If we can just stay in that faith, taking those steps with excitement and following our excitement to the best of our ability until we can't take any more steps. <laughs> That's when it takes a root, it knows we've decided this is it, right? And it, it's going to fill in those gaps and make those connections to the people and the situations and the things that, that we need to bring it to life, to bring it into physicality, to crystallize it into physical. Um, so we're not in this alone, you know, we're connected to the universe, to God, to the matrix, and it's a partner with us. We are a part of the matrix. It is working with us. Our thoughts and our emotions um, our communication to the universe. So what we focus on and what we focus, what we focus on means what we think about, what we believe, what we talk about, how we talk about it, all these things create this energetic um, vibration frequency around this thing, around everything, right? Um, so when we just do our part and stay in that positive mind frame of faith and action, that's our part. <laughs> that's, the, that's the communication to the universe. This is what we want. This is what we're creating. And then it can step in and fill in those gaps and bring those connections in those situations that can help it to manifest. But if we're kind of uh, doubting and fearing and procrastinating and not taking those steps and um, not digging into those things that are making us uh, procrastinate and, and be stuck, then, then that's also a communication with the universe, right? And well, that's what she wants, that's what she gets, right? So the universe is connected to us and experiencing everything through us, our lives through us. So it knows every thought, every emotion, um, and, and, and it responds to it. Every, everything, everything is a prayer. Everything is a communication to the universe, to God, to the matrix, <laughs> because we are the matrix, right? There's no hiding anything. So it's a lot of internal work um, as you're going to those next levels in the internal and in the physical because you can't go to that next level in the physical if internally you're not the same frequency as that next level, right? So it just kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, so <laughs> stay in faith, take those steps, work through those worries and self-doubts and it's going to help you to raise that frequency so you can manifest your best life so if you've gained anything from this please like and subscribe and if you know anyone else who might be in this middle in between phase of stepping into that new excitement that's calling them please share this video with them um, i appreciate you watching hope to see you at the next video